Hello guys, this is JNM with the third part of the high poly to low poly series. In the last one we created a low poly model with 3D code and today I want to show you an alternative approach using Blender and the add-on Retopo Flow. So let's get started again with Blender and our high poly model and I will enable a matcap that helps a bit for visualizing the Retopo low poly model on top of the high poly one. As I said, I will use an add-on called RetopoFlow, you can see this here in the tool shelf. When I open the user preferences and select the add-on tab, you will find it under RetopoFlow. There's a link to the webpage and documentation and you can either buy the add-on, if you want to support CG Cookie who made this add-on, or you can download it for free from this GitHub page, I added the link to the description below. Ok, let me show you how to use it. First you select the source object, which is the high poly model, and then you select the tool that you want to use for retopology. Retopoflow has three tools for retopology, but for this particular model I will just use the poly pen that works a bit like the add split tool we used with 3D code. When you select it, a new object will be created and this is the low poly model we are going to create. With the polypen tool selected, hold the control key down, click onto the high poly model and add points. Three points will be connected to triangles and four points will build a quad. When you right click a point and drag the mouse, you can adjust its position and the same can be done with edges. The polypen tool snaps the edges and points onto the surface of the high poly model. And this is basically the way to build your low poly model, the same approach as we used with 3D code. You can also select an edge with the right mouse button, then add two new points and it will be connected to a quad. This is a very effective and fast way to do retopology. If you want to see the retopoed model, you press the return key and the polypen tool will be closed. If you like, you can switch to X-ray, or also hide the high poly model, so that you can see your created topology so far. If you want to continue the retopo process, just click the polypen button again. Alright, I will fasten up the video now, because I will use the same process till the end. Always try to select an edge and then add two points, you will see this will really speed up the process. Here I pressed return and get the retopoed part of my object and I noticed that I forgot to fill some faces. No problem, switch to edit mode, select the edges and press F to fill. Then I reactivate the polypan and continue my retopo process.
At any time you can select edges or points with the right mouse button and adjust their positions. Ok, we are done, we created the low poly version of the pillar with Blender. Let's drag it out. Awesome! In the next part I will show you how to bake maps like normals or ambient occlusion with Blender cycles. Guys, I really hope you like this tutorial and you find this useful and if you do then let me know and don't forget to subscribe to be notified when the next part is online. And if you want to support me, please use my Patreon, this would really help. Thanks for watching this and see you soon.